Ah, oh, is it North Carolina or is it Baylor? North Carolina or Baylor? I got to go at North Carolina. Oh, hey, everybody. How are you? I'm wondering, have you filled out your brackets for March Madness, the NCAA basketball tournament? Hey, you know what you can do on Sunday? Let me know who you think's going to win. Right now, I'm trying to fill out my brackets right here. Uh, I'm drinking the coffee of the day, Panera Bread, and I'm filling out, a, it's a family, uh, a family bracket, and I'm trying to figure out who I should win, and sometimes I want to pick with my heart, and sometimes I want to pick with my, with my head to see, even though my heart team, it's like, will Colgate beat Arkansas? I want them to, but I doubt it. What about San Diego State and Syracuse? I mean, San Diego State and a massacre, right? No, I think I, got, I think I got Syracuse going to the Sweet 16, but I haven't filled mine out. We can put this away. But tell me who you think is going to win it all uh, on Sunday when you see me. But you know, I was thinking about everybody's trying to punch their ticket to the Final Four. Punch their ticket to the Final Four. We root for our teams. Punch the ticket to get to the Final Four. Well, I want to ask you a question is that, that if you needed to have a ticket to heaven, and how would you punch your ticket to heaven? Let me just read you a passage of Scripture, if, if you don't mind. In, in, in John chapter 14, it says this in verse 1 all the way through to, to verse 7. Don't let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If not, I would have, I have told you, and I'm going there to prepare a place for you. If I go, if I go away to prepare a place for you, I will come again and, and take you to myself, so that, so that, you, so that where I am, you, will, you may be also. You know the way to where I'm going. Lord, Thomas said, we don't know where you're going. How can we know the way? And Jesus says, I am the way and the truth and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through me. You know, I was thinking about, we're trying to figure out what teams are going to punch their ticket to the final four. Well, I know a couple of teams that won't punch their ticket to the final four, and that will be Duke and Kentucky because they're not invited to the tournament. And so therefore they can't make it to the final four. But you're all rooting for your team to punch your ticket to the final four. Let's just say we needed to have a ticket to go to heaven. What would that ticket be? I don't know if you ever watched the movie The Polar Express, but if you remember the bunch of kids who are not really believing in Santa Claus anymore and they're going up to the North Pole and they had to have a ticket. Well, there's one scene where the girl who had, the t had a ticket uh, left it on the seat and it blows out the window and it lands in the, in, in the snow and a bunch of uh, wolves run and the ticket goes up into the air uh, and then a bird eats it and he flies up and he gives it to his uh, it's baby bird. The baby bird starts to eat it and spits it out. And it rolls into the snowball and it hits the front of the train past the under where the, the ghost uh, uh, bomb is and it goes up right back to where it started. And as Tom Hanks is the conductor trying to get the ticket, you don't have a ticket, you can't go. And they find it and they punch the ticket. You know, Jesus just told us he is the ticket to heaven. I am the way and I am the truth and I am the life. We don't have to guess if we can have a ticket to heaven. We can be sure if we put our faith and trust in Jesus Christ to have that ticket to, to heaven. Now, we may not know who's going to win the national championship year this year, uh, but we know for one thing is if, 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 if we believe in Jesus, he's now gone and he's, he's got a room for us. And he's prepared the way. And that's coming up with the way he prepared the way was Easter, which is in a couple of weeks, that he died on the cross and he rose again. If we put our faith and trust in him, that's our ticket to heaven. And so we can punch that ticket by putting our faith in Jesus. So as you're trying to figure out who wins the NCAA tournament, there's a better thing that's going on that you need a ticket to, and that's heaven, and that's Jesus. And so the question is, have you punched your ticket with Jesus? Have you put your faith in him? I hope so. And if you are, it doesn't matter who wins the NCAA tournament, but it does matter who punched their ticket to go to heaven through Jesus Christ. And may your ticket be punched and may we spend eternity together in a place called heaven with, with, with the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much uh, for the joys of March Madness, uh, picking out our brackets. Uh, it's joyful. Uh, it's not joyful when our teams don't make it, but it's joyful. But Lord, there's a bigger thing in life and it's called heaven. And we have to have a ticket to get to heaven and that ticket is Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you're my Savior. I thank you that you have died on the cross for my sins. I thank you, Lord, that I know that you are the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father. No one can go to heaven except through you. So I know that my ticket has been punched for heaven. 
I pray everybody listening to this video, their tickets will be punched to heaven. And if they are, I want to just praise you and thank you. If they're not, Lord, I pray that you would convict them to know that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life to go to heaven. Thank you, Lord, for, for, your, for your love and your mercy and your grace given to us through Jesus. Uh, may you bless us. May you guide us, Lord. And may we have the assurance that we know where we are going because of what Jesus did. We pray in Jesus' name. God bless. Have a great day.